Hey there everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to Airbrusher Games and Art. Welcome back. Well, here we go with a new video for the new series on American Truck Simulator. And today we're going to be talking about your computer and mods and stuff like that. And so, here's the route I'm taking. Not a very long one. And uh, just a second ago, I was checking to see how many gears I got. I learned to just go through the gears before I'm moving to know what I'm what I need to do as far as shifting. This is an 18 speed, which I really like 18 speeds. And here we go. So before we get into mods, well, first I'll say I'm running mods now. I'm running graphic, sound, and some I'll call them ease of, of life mods and we'll get into those in a second first I'm going to talk about your computer this game will run on most anything um, just remember whenever you're in a city or around a lot of vehicles and this is especially true for the multiplayer when you're around a lot of other trucks who are other players connected to the game you'll start to lag out and uh, cities in the single player here will do that to you just so much more for your computer to load as it's going along so just keep that in mind so the stronger your computer the easier this part will be uh, I myself I'm running a Intel i7 6700 non-k this is the locked version on a MSI bazooka motherboard 16 gigabytes of some DDR4. I can't quite remember what it is, but I think it's right around 2300 megahertz. And my graphics card is the GTX 970. Though it's a lot of blue and green, I'm, I'm not proposing any particular company. Um, I am whatever will give you the most bang for your buck. And uh, this is giving me the most bang for my buck at the moment. And so, and, and then once you, you get the thing going, you can go into the graphic settings and start adjusting stuff to really key in, min-max your, your system to get the most out of what you have, too. And uh, the only thing I'm not running is uh, anti-aliasing. Uh, it just hits too hard. And they've made their own game engine here, so uh, I don't know what anti-aliasing it's under, which version of it is. So I just cut it out because once you go high enough graphics, um, anti-aliasing, as you can see, I don't have many jaggies. You know, the steering wheel is nice and round, so on and so forth. So I don't think it's really that needed once you turn the graphics up uh, as far as your computer can go. And so the reason I'm talking about this is we're going to get into the mods now. I'm going to talk about um, what mods I use, my methodology and reasoning for it, and the mods that I, I have kind of as my base core of mods before I add all the other stuff. But the main thing is, is these mods will hit your computer hardware also. So the more you throw on it, the more FPS you may lose. Some mods are optimized better than others. And you just have to deal with that. So for now, as I'm talking about this, I'm not going to suggest any particular mods. I'm not going to show a list of the mods I'm using yet. Uh, but I'm going to link in the description where the main places I get my mods uh, online. Now when you log into the game, uh, once you're into where you choose your profile, you know, you click your profile and you hit play. On that screen in the upper left-hand corner is a blue button that says Workshop. And that has, like, really the, 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 I don't know how to say it, maybe, because I don't really know, but I'm, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say, like, the tried and true or the known to work well mods are there. And there's everything from, um, graphic adjustments to the latest, you know, new Mac Superliner 
truck mod and everything in between and then there's a couple of sites I use that are external that have even more stuff that's not on the workshop but anytime that you're going through an external website make sure you have your antivirus on people do like to play games I haven't necessarily been hit yet um, but both sites will try to redirect you I'm just telling you that now and so watch how many open windows you have down in your taskbar if you start seeing Google or Firefox whatever you're using to you know opening up more you need to close that down and it's just marketing they're trying to get you to look at other websites and that and that's how those websites work so I haven't actually gotten a virus but they will try to open crap on you so just be aware of that I'm telling you that'll happen and uh, the reason I'm okay with posting the link to these is because I have not got a virus yet my virus um, protection has never gone off on these sites and I use Kaspersky so I feel very I feel confident and also just to let you know that you need to watch how many windows are open because they they will try to redirect you so the window you're on doesn't close it opens a second one so if you're on you know the latest and greatest engine sound mod and you click on it another window will open but it'll be underneath and you need to click on that and close it just so you don't get a bunch of crap open on your computer so just be aware of that but I haven't run into any viruses so I'm, I'm okay letting you know this so the mods I use, the core of my mods run with graphics, sound, and like I said, ease of life or whatever you want to call it. Um, and the other reason I'm not linking to specific ones yet is I want you to look at them, to learn, to, to become familiar with how the mods work, and there you go. That proves the law of physics, no two physical bodies can occupy the same space at the same time. There you go. So, I don't think that was my fault for anybody watching. And, uh, so when you're looking through, you know, there's things that'll, that will kill that, the bloom, that glow that all the color has in the, the natural game, I'll call it the game that's unmodified. There's, there's a bloom, a glow to all the colors, especially like the yellows and the light greens are like, just, you know, hurt your eyes glow. There's mods that'll take that away and make it look better. There's mods that'll that will make the environment, the weather, look better. So go ahead and look through that and kind of familiarize yourself with it before I start getting into specifics. So I'm just kind of talking generally. But mostly the metho the meth methodology of what I'm doing. I want the most beautiful, the best sounding game that I can get. The engine sounds in the Vanilla game are limp, they're sad, and this turn was a lot tighter as I came up onto it than I expected, so I start really slowing down hard here. The, uh, the sounds are just limp, quiet, kind of sad, not very inspiring. And so there's people that make like engine sounds like Creechy Bomb. They're just they're great sounds, and you can throw them into your mods list, and they apply to the game. And they change the way your trucks sound, and I use them. I, I to me, one of the biggest things about a game for immersion is the sounds I have. And then there's another mod that's a huge mod. It takes like 15 minutes to download the stupid thing by itself. That is environmental sounds. You. The sound of your road, you know, your wheel sound on the road. Chickens at a farm, you know, yada, yada, yada. Just, a, excuse me, a ton of stuff to increase the immersion. And the other thing I added is you can see by the AI in here, it's a, a mod that he's very specific. I use and again, when I start getting into specific mods, I'll go through this, but it's a traffic mod. And, and there's a couple of them, and I use two. There's one that adds more traffic. It's a little bit more, not a lot, not a ton, but it's, it's enough to really bring in some realism where you gotta kinda deal with traffic. But it adds a variety of cars, a bigger variety, so it looks more like what you would expect. Because a lot of the cars you see in my video here, and this is spooky, goodbye, um, aren't in the game by itself. 
and then um, the other traffic mod or AI traffic mod are trucks that have new new kind of trailers that you don't see in in the vanilla game with actual company names on them in color in, in the colors of the company it's a painted truck mod and so it just is I add that stuff just for the realism and then uh, the things that make the game easier I don't know if that's the right way to put it there's stuff like there's a mod that makes the yellow lights last longer and if you notice when you're playing a single player those yellow lights boom they're done and you're stuck in the middle of the intersection with a slow moving truck um, with AI trying to run you over because you now they got the red light because the I mean the green light because the yellow light lasted you know one second well this mod gives a more natural expected length to the lights by adding time to the yellow that's a really good one and again when I get into specific mods in a, in a couple of videos it might be the next one depends on how this one goes and the response I get to it we'll get into that and then and there's stuff the mods like that I can put real looking tires real looking wheels with real looking rims and hub covers and da 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 on and on and um, add um, you know LED lighting to the trucks and stuff uh, on my other account that is normally the, the the truck videos you've been seeing where it's like a non-commentary just a truck drive where those trucks they look that certain way with a certain lighting that's those mod those mods are on that account they're not on this but I do use them the the mods I have on this one is just for the sound and some in some stuff like there's a painted truck right there that Saya truck you know adding uh, better graphics better weather better sound <clears throat> better AI traffic well not better as in how it acts but you know, you know what I mean and then adding like the, you know the the things that make the game easier like the yellow light and um, just general stuff that wouldn't be in like the graphics or the sound department and those are more what would appeal to you so even those ones I may even go into less detail other than kind of going over a generalization of them a little more in depth than I am now um, what they are because it's gonna it's gonna depend more on you what you get I'm gonna try to avoid setting this up is like this is a, the mods I have this is the ones you should use that's not what I want to do this is what I'm trying to do is these are the mods this is how they work this is what they provide you make a decision that's why you don't have my mods list but you're gonna see where I get my mods from so you can go through it and so that's going to to really uh, bring definition to your game I mean look at my instrument panel there my my dash it's a lot better looking than it was in the last one even though it's basically a very similar truck again I'm not driving my own trucks um, but you can see that the the way it looks is better and no I didn't choose the hard um, parking because I straight up don't have the skill to back the trailer at that angle around into the other side someday I will I'm working on it I'm not that good yet anyways this is to let you know that you need to, to watch your computer mods are okay in moderation and uh, whatever you want to use is fine and I'll have the links in the description below for you to check out and we'll get more into them as you learn more about them. So thanks for joining me. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, my friends.